I'm pleased to be joined today on Primetime Local News by Jeff Burroughs from the Tea Party. Jeff, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. Jeff, this is really an exciting time for Tea Party fans because you guys have a new single called Summertime that's out now. Tell me about this single. Well, um, the, this, this batch of music has been, been worked on for the better part of two years. And obviously we expected to have it done much sooner, but it's just been a little bit difficult because uh, of course we're a band, but it's, we're not a, a band that lives together in Windsor or Toronto or Vancouver. I'm in Windsor, Stuart's in Vancouver, Jeff is in Australia. So, um, and everyone has their own little things to do. So it's, it's been a while before, until we got it put together, but thankfully it's in time for summertime. <laughs> And tell me about the song and the timing of the release. Was it just a matter of, like you said, everybody being able to get together? Or did you specifically have a plan that you wanted to release the song Summertime before Summertime? That that was the best laid plan so far as the song Summertime. So that ended up being complete, but we didn't want to release that until the entire EP was done. So the only thing that really slowed us down if, if we weren't dealing with a pandemic is we would have been able to get together last year complete everything instead of, you know, sending files here and there and whatever. So uh, I, it was probably postponed a year, but I, I guarantee it's worth the wait. It's a great track. And now uh, this is going to be part of an EP, you said, not a full album? No, this is an EP and um, in talks already uh, with the guys last night, we're talking about an album um, and starting to write it right either before or right after we're able to tour next so that's the nicest thing i think about the band is um if we're starting a canadian tour it's normally uh starting or ending in vancouver or victoria and stewart's out there so we can write there for a couple weeks or if we're going to australia jeff's there we can write in advance or post uh post tour which is always it's nice because you can either relax going in or relax going out <laughs> Has there been quite a demand uh, from your fans for some new music? I know, especially during a, a time like this, when there's a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands, they're really wanting and, and, you know, kudos to a lot of the artists who have come out and done, you know, whether they can do online concerts or whatever they can, but have your fans kind of been on you? Like we really want some, some new material. Yeah. Last, last year we, we released um, a, a joy division cover isolation and it was nice because it kind of, it gave us, I don't want to say something to do, but it gave us that, you know, satisfaction that we're at least doing something in the meantime. And I think we released a cover of uh, Morrissey's Every Day is Like Sunday a little too quick after it, because <laughs> if we would have held on to it, it wouldn't have seemed like such a long road. But um, yeah, there are a lot of people are excited. I think for us, uh, a band our age, people really are just looking forward to getting back to concerts, right? Um, of course, there's avid music collectors and so on and so forth, but um, especially our our generation, they love they love the the CDs and, and the uh, the albums. But I think most people are just itching to get out and go see a show of any kind, to be honest. And what's that looking for the Tea Party? What's it looking like now? Are you guys going to be able to get a tour? I mean, obviously, some things are up in the air, but uh, can you plan some stuff now? Well, we, we have the Saints and Sinners tour that has now been booked for the third time, and that's still sitting in November. So that's that's what we're looking at now, where everyone's positive, everyone understands if something happens again. Um, but yeah, that, that tour was supposed to have happened twice already. <laughs> so uh, we've, we've got that along with our friends Moist and the Headstones and Sloan, and that's a cross-Canada jaunt. Um, but we'll have to see because, you know, we're just, we're getting close. We're, I can see the corner that we need to turn, but, you know, I'm no doctor and, you know, just do what your doctors say, please. That's all. Well, how frustrating has it been uh, for yourself and for the rest of the group? And, you know, I guess just musicians in general, things have been changing so frequently and, you know, you're trying to get together to do things and there's all these barriers in your way. And, you know, it, it's really changed how you guys can make your living as well, too. So how yeah. do you cope with this and, and how much of a, a pain has it been for you guys? Uh, it's an adjustment. Um it, at least in our situation, you know, we're, we're veterans and, and I think we have a little bit of money set aside for these. Well, not, not, no one was ever prepared for these types of chicanes, but 
I feel mostly for, for the younger artists who are on the cusp of doing something great in their career, who, who should have had that song released last year or should have been on tour this year. That's kind of how, how or what I feel for, for the young women and men that, that have that career ready to start off. Don't feel bad for your Foo Fighters and, and all those bands. They're lovely and they're amazing. And, you know, God bless any band that's huge. But don't feel bad for that, those guys and gals. They're, they're okay. Feel bad for the younger, younger bands and feel bad for and help out with uh, some of the technical crew if you can. There's, there's so many opportunities out there to help. Um, and, you know, support your local artists more and more. I mean, I'm supporting a local artist right now, Flower Face from Windsor. And, um, you know, buy, buy things. If you're in, the, in a position to do it, you know, don't buy another Rolling Stones t-shirt. Nothing wrong with the Rolling Stones. It's just, you know, support a local band, local metal band, local, you know, hip hop artist, local uh, folksy person, you know. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And this is so exciting to be able to talk about a new single and like you said, hopefully a tour. So um, when fans are looking around, I'm sure most of them know where to go, but for uh, maybe those new fans that um, haven't you know, been exposed to your music as much, what's the best way to find the single and to check out uh, stuff from the past from you guys? Uh, if you just go to teaparty.com, uh, just google it it's it's right there you'll be able to find the uh the selection of uh, uh in the library and um of course all of your you know apple musics and streamings and, and so on and so forth it's all there you young kids don't have to go buy records <laughs> <laughs> all right jeff well thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us today really appreciate it thank you